The Senate Judiciary Committee just wrapped up the initial confirmation hearing for Governor McKee's pick for Lieutenant Governor, Providence City Council President Sabina Matos. 12 News reporter Sheena Loshido has been monitoring the confirmation hearing and joins us in studio now with the details. Sheena? Well, the committee unanimously voted in favor of approving the council president's nomination, so the vote now heads to the full Senate. That vote is expected to take place sometime next week. The hearing was full of positive testimony from both lawmakers and other officials here in the community, including Governor McKee. Mato shared her story as an immigrant from the Dominican Republic, ultimately securing the votes she needs. And obviously, Madam Chair, members of the committee, we offered the services of the Senate uh, for whatever she would deem appropriate. I know she's new up here, and we're willing to uh, give you whatever assistance uh, you, may, you may need, uh, Madam Council President. And uh, I want to congratulate you. I think you're an excellent choice, and look forward to working with you. Thank you, Mr. President. Mato says if confirmed, she will then resign from the Providence City Council. That, of course, would result in a special election there to fill her seat. I'm Sheena Lushudo, 12 News. More breaking news. Sabina Mato's nomination to be Rhode Island's next lieutenant governor is heading to the full Senate for a vote. 12 News reporter Sheena Loshido tells us how the Senate Judiciary Committee voted a short time ago. Sheena? Well, this is being considered a historic nomination by many of the people who testified. If confirmed, Matos would be the first person of color and the second woman ever to hold this position. The City Council President's nomination was unanimously approved. She was praised by several lawmakers at the hearing, as well as Governor McKee. And while addressing the committee, Matos shared a bit of her own story. I'm grateful to Governor McKee for asking me to serve as the Lieutenant Governor, and I'm humbled by his trust in me. I would like to take a few minutes to tell you who I am and how I got here. I'm a black immigrant woman, an Afro-Latina from the Dominican Republic. And Mato says if confirmed, she will then resign from the Providence City Council, and that, of course, would result in a special election there to fill her seat. I'm Sheena Lushudo, 12 News.